All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV. Everyone and only YouTube platform where they're giving a back to back update on how things they be, on how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also, remember to like and share this broadcast. Okay. All right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the both brains at the moment. We say, yes, oh, Hannes and Debo, the one and only Hannes and Debo, which you don't know, say their meeting, don't scatter, has also been exposed as they have uh, been accused and has seen of uh, people that have sold Igbo rights to Fulani terrorists as you have vowed to attack them. Yes, my people, now so ego the hot, and that is the reason why a whole lot of things have uh, befallen the Ohanes and Debo, as they have people that have not been faithful to their own people, their own fatherland, to their own people that are supposed or they are supposed to be faithful to. They have so they have been accused that they have sold the rights of Ndibo to Fulani terrorists. My people, that is why you see that this set of people have the rights. Or they are in their rights, they feel like they are in their rights to come into Igbo land and they misbehave and to do whatever it is they see. Because uh, they, at some point they've come to an understanding with the Ohanes and Igbo that uh, has given them the rights and the guts to come into it. And this means that uh, the Ohanes and Igbo have uh, taken bribe or might have had an agreement with them or but something that would benefit them. Personally, and uh, my people, this just shows the rate of selfishness in uh, Igbo people's uh, hearts. And uh, my people, that is among the reasons why we have not progressed from where we are today. Because at this particular point, we have come to find out that a whole lot of people care more about themselves than about the general, general public in total. And this is a big turn off to everything that we've been fighting for. It's a big turn off to everything that we've ever wanted. The fact that we want that uh, we want the division of Nigeria for Biafrans to stay alone and for a whole lot of things to take place and this set of people have decided to do things a little bit differently or more differently than it should even be it's very very heartbreaking and uh, my people that is why progress has been a hard thing for us but then we're not going to let it allow it to take us down at any point in time because uh, we are people that have sworn in our hearts that uh, we are going to make it we are going to make sure we get what we want no matter the situation of things no matter how people have decided to hit us down we are not a uh, people that can be moved about without a uh, being focused in anything we want to do. Johannes and Debo has surely failed us and they have betrayed us. They have stabbed us at the back. And uh, yes, we know that us how break, heartbreaking it could be. That is what they have done. And my people, if you look at it, that is why they do not have mouths again in the society. That is why they do not have a talk. That is why they do not have a say. And even when they come out to make uh, some type of contribution, they are not even regarded. And that is the truth of the matter because of of course, they have sold their rights. They have sold the rights of Ndibo, and uh, it is uh, the it is obviously the consequence of everything that they've done, the money they've eaten on, anything they've taken for themselves personally. And my people, that is how things like this work. If you make a mistake and decide to do anything for your selfish reason, other people will suffer the losses and then you yourself will be the only beneficial person. And if you're unlucky, like this same set of people, you too will be suffering it because of course you they are suffering it at the moment. And that is the main situation of things at the moment, and that is how things are being done. And uh, if you look at it, uh, you would want to say, or you would rightly say that things are not working well in the so-called country, Nigeria, as uh, their so-called Jagaban is in power, and uh, in quotes, he, he said he's coming to change a whole lot. And my people, instead, he has made things a whole lot worse than it was, and uh, Nigeria has declined and will keep on declining, even the, the rise of a uh, dollar has increased. My people, it reduced to some extent recently and people thought oh Buhari or Abija Gaban is working but at the same time it started coming up again and I believe that uh, it has off people again that it has uh, risen again my people in a country that was not even destined to be yes in a country that was never even supposed to come to come alive there is nothing you would do that would ever work for that kind of country. And that's the truth of the matter. This country just deserves to be taken down. My people, Biafra Republic is, United States of Biafra is the main aim, is what should stand. And we are going to make sure that it stands no matter what 
people do or no matter what they do to send people or whatever it is to make sure that we do not achieve our goal we need to make sure that it works out done by this same man that uh, we are claiming that uh, ah he's against the biafra movement ah he's against this he's against that that he's against this that he's causing unrest in south east he's doing this he's doing that hey people i just want you to know that uh, it's not possible none of it is even close to being possible because he is working tirelessly. The amount of people they send against him, the amount of people that have wanted his arrest, they, even the time when they succeeded one way or another, they said there was a rumor that he was arrested and then he was released and everything that comes up, it all ends up to be a lie. It all ends up to be false. It all ends up not happening because this man is protected by the Finland government. And the Finland government is in support of everything he's doing. And I would like to tell you that even the Finland government would know they would not support anybody that would be causing unrest in, this, in another state. And they would not even let him stay in, their, in, stay in their country if they found out that or if they know that uh, this particular man, this is what he's doing. But they know the fight. They know the roots of every single thing. And so because of that, they are supporting him. This particular movement is not a movement that uh, anyone can just wake up and do and go to a foreign state and stay. If you are that kind of person that you are doing that side of thing, be rest assured that the country would, would, would investigate you before allowing you to stay there, especially in a country like Finland. If a Finland country would investigate you to be sure that nothing of such is going on or that you're not causing any of such, that whatever you're doing is actually up to your right and is what you can rightfully do, which I am sure that they, they have done properly on him. And they have verified that this particular person is doing nothing, just like um, P, um, the Mazenam de Kano was doing absolutely nothing wrong, but fighting for the movement. But of course, uh, this particular thing is uh, what uh, they would use to sway people in Nigeria. They would use to sway Igbo people in Nigeria, make them think that he's the worst enemy of all, and say so many rubbish against him. I would even come up and say uh, that if, since he's outside the country, he should come back. Mazinam de Kano, how the few times he came back to Nigeria, the very first time he came back, they arrested him. That was the first thing they did. And he expects him or anybody fighting for their freedom to respect, to come back to Nigeria. It's not possible. If we have a history of letting people that are fighting for their nation be in the country and be safe and every other thing without getting arrested, then the possibility of them coming back or staying or being protected in their state is there. But then any time that this set of people find themselves or get themselves in the country, they are arrested. Do you expect the PM, Simon Ebert, not to learn from the previous things that had happened and decide to be in a state that would um, really, really protect him from anything that is going on? Of course, he has found that state and that state or that country is Finland. And that is why he's with the Finnish government. And as well, it has ended up that the, the main president or the person in charge at this point has ended up to be a very close friend of his, close to his best friend. And they, he, they are all working towards everything that would make sure that the Biafra movement is something that actually works out at the end and not just something that the people would hear about and not know what is happening. But uh, my people, what I am here to remind you of is that this movement is as real as anything should be. The movement that is being made by the PMBLGIE is uh, one of the biggest and one of the most valued by the true Biafrans that know the fight, that the fight is real. And that if you don't, if you stop fighting, the day we stop fighting is the day we start ending whatever it is we want for ourselves. And so this is what is expected of Biafrans, not to, not to avoid, not to ignore, not to dig down or to forget whatever it is you are expected to do the need for. Stand steadfast, be ready at any point in time because you do not know what's next and what is going to happen next. And so you are expected to be strong, be strong and do the need for every single thing. There's, I, I don't believe there's anything you're passing through now that the people in the past that fought for this particular freedom have not passed through, that did not pass through. There are those that went through the main civil war and they, there was a war, a real war. And uh, it so happened that uh, at the end, since we are still in one Nigeria, you would call it the fact that we lost. But of course, we are going at it again, and we are going to win. 
we are hoping that uh, the best would happen in our uh, coming off and uh, doing the needful things that we need to do. And so, my people, it is uh, one of the important things that we need to do with uh, anything that concerns the Afro movement. And so, that is what it is. So, yes, my people, this is what we will end the, come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications, too. Thank you.